Now, you tell me the circumstances in which she came to you asking for a loan. She wanted to buy a new car and she couldn't get credit from the car finance. The garage advised her that she'd need a personal loan. What did you need a car for? Well, it was obviously to go to work. To go to work. So she asked you for that money. What did you do? I signed as guarantor. You signed under, as guarantor? Under duress because she didn't give me the full facts. I was on my way to work on a, on a night shift and she wanted the document signed. Didn't tell me the full details of the loan. And she was quite crafty about it all, really, because she didn't really want me to read the paperwork. Mm. So I rushed to work, signed the paperwork so she could process the application. Was there any immediate threat of physical violence? Did Christina hold you at knife point or anything of that kind? I was getting my pen ready for, for the story. Anything? Just pressurised me to sign the loan. But what sort of pressure was it, did she exert on you? Did she say, when you get home, if you don't sign this, I'm going to kill you? Or did she say, if you don't sign this, when you get home, I'm going to rearrange your furniture or perhaps replace all of your ties with pink ones or anything of that kind? The fact that she wanted the application form filled in well, my signature, as soon as possible, so she could get it processed. Yes. And you tell me that's pressure. Here's the thing. I've got a loan agreement here from a company, and it's in joint names. What this loan agreement tells me is that you are jointly liable for the loan, which may help you. Do you understand? Yes, Judge. So your suggestion that you're nothing but a guarantor is, in fact, wrong. What did you say to him? when you asked him to sign that document? Well, Ronnie just not signed. Ronnie filled the forms for the, for the loan. Ronnie filled everything because I can write English. Not correct, George. Of that £10,000, what happened to it, please? 7000 went onto the car and the balance went to Christina. Of the other £3,000, where did that go? You say that £3,000 went to Christina. 2000 did. £2,000 went, that's 9000 on the 23rd of August, there is a transfer of £2,000 to you. Do you accept you received that money? What did you do with that money? It's irrelevant, but I'm asking. Well, Ronnie knows what I do with the money. I have a lot on here. Well, I bought Ronnie may for... know, but Ronnie and I aren't telepathic, so That's you do right, your best yeah. to tell me. I bought items for the house. You bought things for the house? For did the you house, buy yeah. things for the house? Not that I'm aware of. Unless what she's do you mean, got not that you're aware of? Were you Unless abducted? she's got receipts. What do you mean? Is, or were you still under duress and pressure? <laughs> I'm just wondering. What happened to the other 1,000? I paid £400 off a credit card. Well, that's very odd, Ron. Of course you wouldn't have done that. All you were doing is acting as a guarantor. As an address. To protect the interest of the bank and to help Christina get a loan. Why would you think that you were entitled to any of that money? Because she, she said to me, if you go guarantor for me, I will give you some money to pay your credit card. No, she didn't. You were off to work. <laughs> you were under pressure. You signed this document in circumstances where you didn't know at all what it, what it was about. You want to change that story now? When did this conversation take place? The conversation about you being able to take a commission for your role as a guarantor. Was it at the time you were running out the door or was it at the time she was putting you under pressure? I'll pause whilst you... <laughs> Have you got into a bit of a cul-de-sac of life? See, I do this for a living for a long time. When did that conversation take place? Was it the moment you were running out the door to work? When she applied for the loan. This is your moment to rethink and reframe your case to me, because in the event that I find any dishonesty in what you're saying, that a case that you've got which may have some legal substance to it, and therefore some benefit at the end, will be entirely lost if you're misrepresenting the truth. Do you understand? Yes, George. So let me ask you again. When you tell me, Ron, that this loan was taken out in circumstances where you were under duress and pressure, would you now like to withdraw that and say that it was taken out in circumstances where you understood that Christine would be the main beneficiary, but you would benefit from that loan to some extent? Would you like to go for the second option? Yes, George. Did Christina pay any money back? And if so, how much did she pay back? It was £178 a month. Just and to be clear, made... the monthly payments were £178. That was for the entirety of the loan? Yes, George. 
That's right. And That's did she right. make those payments? She made about three, Judge. How many payments do you say you made, Christine? Twelve months. You've brought me some evidence from a bank account demonstrating some payments of £178, correct? Yes, Judge. How many instalments have been made? How much have you paid back of that loan? £4,077.29. Did you make any of those payments? I stopped paying the, the loan in January 2014. Why would you agree to pay back all of it each month? Because I had um, threats from Ronnie. What threats were there? Going to my workplace, going to my flat, uh, follow me everywhere. The gym I used to go, asking the people, do you see Christina, do you see my girlfriend? Yes, where's the threat? That's spying on me, follow me everywhere. Now, I'm satisfied you've provided me with evidence that the outstanding balance of the loan is for £10,555.10. Some interest the two of you took together. Just to be clear, you're here today not claiming for the outstanding value of that loan. You're claiming for the amount you've paid. Yes. Which is what you effectively say Christina ought to have paid. Is yes, that right? Judge. Yes, Judge. Christina. Now, you've got a counterclaim, and your counterclaim is this. Firstly, you say that the £2,000, that loan, was given to you, but you spent that on household items which you shared, and now you want that money back. And I'm going to go through each and every one, and I'm going to ask you to explain each and every one and why you say you're entitled to be reimbursed. Yes? £300 for clothing. Why are you entitled to that? Because I left my belongs in Ronnie's house. He never went back to me. Does she have clothes that, at your judge. house? I'm not aware of that, Judge, no. Do you mind standing up? This is your moment. Certainly, thank you. What's your name, please, madam? Stacey. Stacey, are you now living in Ronnie's address? No, no, I'm have not. Have you been to Ronnie's address? Are you I in a, have, yes. Are you in a relationship? Yes, we are. Have you seen lots of women's clothes at no. his Sorry. in his house that, as far as you're concerned, are not his? No, I've never seen anything like that, Judge. No, you've never seen him going out on an exotic evening? <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, it's your moment. Your fiancé there. Stand closer. When you first met Christina, did she come without any clothes of any sort? <laughs> 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 uh, she did have a few clothes, yeah, but not, not many. Tell me about the wooden floor. Wooden floor, we bought a wooden floor together. Did you stand on the wooden floor? Of course, I used to mop. Tell me about the £400 carpet. We bought a carpet for his landing. For his landing? Yeah, altogether. You lived at the address according to your reply. He didn't have nothing. <laughs> £300 for household items. My things I left there. Like what? Well, pictures. Uh, I left the straighteners there for me hair. Hair straighteners? I have dishes you there. You monster wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I left a lot of uh, dishes there. It was belonged to me. Right. Now, I'm getting to my favourite bit of your claim. And I mean the legal... It's a legal high. Yes, but I don't mean, like, sort of legal highs. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, help me with why you're claiming for £420 for a dating website. My post used to go to Ronnie's house and my bank letters and Ronnie used to go on accounts using the dating site and paying, taking the money from my bank. Did you use her financial account in order for you to go on dating websites? No, Judge. Now, £2,000, which is money owed from the loan. Now, I don't understand that. That's a separate amount. You're effectively saying, I received, which I accept, you agree, £2,000 from the loan. Why do you say now that Ron owes you that money? Because I've been treated so badly. Uh, I've been treated like a slaver. So now, to me, I feel you have to pay every penny back to me. Not even a hundred thousand pounds will pay to me the way Ronnie treats me. You tell me what life was like as a slave. I used to clean... You used e to clean? Everything. Clean everything? When that was... Number one. Yeah. Number two. Uh, I used to mow his garden. Mow his garden? Everything, yeah. I used to cook for him. Cook? Yeah. <laughs> Madam, if every time a partner in a relationship, usually but not exclusively a woman, came to court and told me that I ought to consider them living in indentured servitude because they cleaned, mowed and cooked for their husband or their partner. That would make almost every wife in this country a slave. Do you understand? That's right, yeah, I do understand. Or husband. <laughs> That's right. 
Would you like to withdraw your suggestion that you were a slave? Let me tell you something very seriously. People who are slaves live in appalling circumstances, do hours of unpaid work, under threat of duress if they leave, you left, in circumstances where they have no other personal or economic choice because they are forced into the most wicked circumstances. Your claim, and I can imagine it might not have been the most pleasant thing in the world, was that you cleaned, mowed a garden and cooked, albeit in circumstances where you weren't happy in the relationship. Bearing in mind what I've told you about slavery, would you like to withdraw your request to me to grant you £2,000 for having lived as a slave? Well... Would I've... you like to withdraw it? Yes. Splendid. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge render moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.